on the curb with no home while thousands of UCLA students get to live on their property. This is outrageous and we should demand that the students move out and the veterans move in. If you've ever wondered how Los Angeles is the nation's capital of veteran homelessness and suicide, I would encourage you to look into the 36 acres on Veteran Avenue across from the National Cemetery for Veterans. And what you will find here is buildings, beautiful, livable apartments that are for UCLA. Thousands of UCLA students live in these buildings. But what you must know is that in 1888, very wealthy and powerful people donated over 900 acres and several deeds to the federal government to permanently maintain a home for disabled and homeless veterans. Now look, before UCLA tried to make Soldiers Home a campus, 4,000 to 5,000 veterans lived on this property and called it a home. They were disabled and homeless and they were being served and rehabilitated on the National Soldiers Home. And in 1948, UCLA told the VA that they would turn this property into a medical center for veterans. Does this look like a medical center for veterans? No. Over 4,000 veterans woke up on the streets of Los Angeles on the curb with no home while thousands of UCLA students get to live on their property. This is outrageous and we should demand that the students move out and the veterans move in.